We turn now to youth violence, which is having wide reaching impacts in Aurora. Just today, an event was canceled over fears that violence might break out. Nine News reporter Angeline McCall spoke with people who say today's cancellation is just one example of how difficult it is to keep kids safe in the Denver metro area. Yeah, Alex, Tom, the best of the best basketball players from both Aurora and Cherry Creek have a chance every year to play in the A-Town All-Star Basketball Games. And this year, those games were planned for tonight and they were canceled. Cherry Creek School District says the decision was made out of an abundance of caution after a threat was made targeting the event or venue. The district, however, wouldn't share any specific details about those threats or the threat, I should say. Aurora PD told us they had planned to increase patrols at this event, but ultimately left the final decision up to the district or a councilman at large. Just Dustin Zavonik says canceling the games punishes the wrong kids who are doing the right thing by staying involved and engaged and out of trouble. The wrong signal. It sends the signal that we are going to allow this criminal activity to overrun the lives of our community and of our students and these kids who again are, are having an opportunity to be highlighted as being the best at what they do at this period of time in their lives and you don't get to go back and do this again and so I, I think it's the wrong message. I believe that the school district, the police department, we should have done any and everything possible to make sure that these games happen and I hope that they still do. Councilman Zavonik is planning to introduce what he's calling his Aurora Action Plan tonight at City Council, the study session that's happening tonight to address the violence issue there. The district says they have other games and other athletic events happening as scheduled, but with this specific threat, felt it was really in the best interests to keep those kids safe. We also did speak with a safety expert at CU who said the district has to also consider resources because they must ensure they have enough security and staff to keep kids safe when these threats occur. Tom, Alex. Uh, so much at stake uh, it, with the, at the worst, and you have to try and think of everybody's safety with, as Councilman Zvonik alluded to, the idea that this was supposed to be a great event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think what he was trying to get across, too, is, you know, they, these kids have one chance to have their childhood. And so um, when you think of youth violence, it's not so much, oh, if I stay out of it, you know, I'm going to be OK. I'm not going to be impacted. Ultimately, what he's saying is that every kid is getting impacted in some way, even when they try to do the right thing and try um, just to kind of stay in their lane. All right, Angeline. Thanks.